YouTube, it's Darling Craftlet, like chocolate here, and I'm back with another video. Yay! Thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate all your lovely words of encouragement and the wisdom you have shared. This will be my second resin update. If you missed the first one, I put a link to it in the down bar. I tried a couple of new things this time, so let's get started. These first four pieces, I used a star cupcake mold. Thank you to Capotus MX, sorry if I butchered that name, who suggested putting the sticker on top of the piece and then doming over it. I have her link to her channel in the down bar. Now this is my first piece. I really like it. It's like this little lollipop creams coal and I think it's super cute. This next one is a ice cream cone with some green ice cream and I really like this piece. I use Perlex to do the blue background and I use blue and white acrylic paint to paint yummy on there and some other accenting features I guess. I can't speak sometimes, I'm sorry. And then here we have what I first thought was a sheep, but no, it's actually a poodle. <laughs> I actually thought it was silly that I thought it was a sheep because it was in a puppy pack of stickers. Anyways, I really like that piece. Next we have the Mario Star. And I love slash hate this piece. I like it because I did an all right job with the painting. I hate it because the back, what happened when I domed it. And when I was trying to cut that out, I cut myself because I'm skilled. I'm like a child. I should not be running with scissors ever. That's not actually what happened. But I hurt myself and I'm not happy about it. Here we have three different pieces from three different uh, cupcake molds. Sorry, two different. And I really like this piece. I used ac pink acrylic paint to color the resin. And then I used the same pink acrylic paint to draw a color in the heart in the middle and then I use light pink and white to write EXO on a heart. I really like this piece. And here we have another heart I made and I like this piece. I actually used the ball tool to paint this entire masterpiece I'm gonna say because I love it. <laughs> and I haven't domed the back. I probably just do it in clear but I have put a bail on this piece. I really like it. Next we have one of my favorite pieces. It's so plain, but sometimes simpler is better. I use white acrylic paint to color it, the resin, and I put some white sparkles in there, and it just shines when you wear it. I really like it. Next we have two of the bigger pieces I've been working on. As you can see them compared to my hand, they're a lot bigger than the charms I've been doing. This is a moon. I actually got this from our Canadian version of the Dollar Tree. It's called Dollar Giant. And I really like this piece. I use some star confetti. I also use some cellophane flakes and I put sparkles. This is the Claire's body slash hair glitter that I used last time. And I did lines. This is my coaster. I'm probably actually just getting on the wall because I absolutely love it. My fiance calls it Winter Wonderland because I use blue and white and I kind of did a swirling effect with the resin. These are old jewelry pieces of mine and some pearls. I really like this piece. Next, I thought I would show you all some of my polymer clay charms. I've been working with this clay for about two weeks. Lily asked me if I made clay items, so I thought I would share my collection so far. I put a link to one of her latest updates in the down bar. So this is the first set I have here. And the first piece I'm gonna show you is this best friend charms I made. Best friend charms. And they're just a, it's just a cloud. I use a translucent clay. And I put some jump rings on there. These are the cookies I made. They're chocolate chip. Obviously, I did some shading. And I really like these. I textured the tops. But I didn't texture the bottoms because I'm going to make them magnets. And I want the glue to stick really well to them. I have to glaze these yet. Next, we have my first cupcake. And I just used tools to create these. I don't have any molds. And I thought it turned out really good. I have some strawberries on top. I glazed this and there's a jump ring. Kind of failed to putting the head pin in. <laughs> it happens. I'm so new at bendy wire. I'm not really good at it yet. Here we have my little dinosaur. It is this really cute pink tongue coming out of him. And he has cheeks and little eyes. I did texture his body as well. And yeah, he's really cute. He also has a jump ring on him and he's glazed. 
next we have my cake here you can't really tell uh, all the texturing i put in here but i did put a lot my plates suck so please don't judge and so yeah this is a uh, cherry and vanilla layer cake with pink icing and there's some cherries on top with some chocolate drizzle this looks absolutely delicious i really want to eat this little cake but i really don't think it's gonna taste as good as it eats i mean looks i can't speak again yay yeah so those are the very first ones i did next i thought i would try to make some chibis and the they turned out all right, I guess. This is the very, very first one I made. She has a little hair clip in her hair. I thought I did a pretty good job with her hair. That was, like, the hardest part. I kept, like, almost squishing this chibi. Like, I squished a couple other ones before it. But I think she turned out really cute. I haven't really mastered eyes yet. So, yeah, she kind of looks like she's sleeping. But I think she turned out really cute. Next, I have a smaller one I made. And she kind of looks like a bridesmaid. I don't know. But I think she's super cute too. She's laughing. And I put this pink ribbon in her hair. It's like a lace ribbon. I textured it. And I gave her side swept bangs. And she's just really cute. She's pretty tiny. And she has a jump ring on her. She's glazed all pretty like. I don't know. Hopefully I'll get better at making chibis. And then we have my favorite chibi I made so far. It's this kitty girl. Girl dressed up as a cat, sure. And I tried to do actual eyes on her. She has pink hair. And I, her hair kind of looks like a Sonic character. So I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, I really like her. I think it did all right in the eyes. I'm thinking to, I'm going to try Sharpies instead of paint. I think it'll, it'll work a lot better. We'll see how that turns out. And she has a jump ring on her as well, and she's glazed. Wish me luck with my chibis in the future. Thank you so much for watching my video, and to all those who have already subscribed to me. If you enjoyed the video, or me, please click the like button, comment, subscribe if you wish. I appreciate all the support from every single one of you. If there's any video you want me to make, just let me know, and I will try my best. Until next time, bye!